Galaxy S24 Ultra broken camera glass. This is the kit for the replacement. In order to start you need a blade. The blade was also included inside the kit. I usually do this with a heat gun but for the first camera glass that is broken I'm going to try to remove it without using a heat source. The process is the same with heat or without heat. You just need to insert the blade between the broken camera glass and the camera bezel especially below the double sided tape that is attached to the broken camera glass. Doing this without heat can work but I fear that it is going to leave some scratch on the camera rings on the back of the S24 Ultra. So on my first try I wasn't able to place the blade right between the camera glass and the frame of the device and especially right below the double sided tape. So my next step will be to remove a few broken camera glass on top of the double sided tape so that I can see clearly the double sided tape and then next if I insert the blade inside it is going to be between the double sided tape and the frame of the device. So here's the piece of broken camera glass that I removed and this is going to expose the double sided tape and I can see it. So now it should be very easy to insert the blade between the double sided tape and the camera bezel and start pulling the whole assembly, camera glass broken and double sided tape. So here also you need to be mindful that if you use the sharp edge of the blade, it is going to cut the double sided tape and you won't be able to remove everything in one go. So extremely important, while you're removing the broken camera glass and the tape, make sure that you gently tap on the back of the device for all the broken camera glass to fall on the table and not on the camera lens or on the inside of your camera bezel. Since there is no heat on the double sided tape, this is why it is kind of a little bit difficult to remove the double sided tape and the broken camera glass in one go. You will have to pull with a little bit more force than usual in order to remove it. The first broken camera glass was removed. I just need to tap on the back of the device like I said earlier in order to push all the small stuff debris out of the camera bezel. Next you need to inspect the area where you remove the broken camera glass and remove any debris, any broken glass that is still on the edge of the camera bezel. So I can say that this is definitely doable without using a heat source but I'm going to use heat source next and you're going to see the difference. If you're going to use a heat source you need to protect the cameras before you do that. So this is why I'm using a heat resistance tape to cover all the cameras that are broken and not broken in order to start using heat to help me remove the second broken camera glass. So now I'm going to insert my green scalpel, the tip of the blade between the broken camera glass and the camera bezel and start pulling. Here you can see how much easier it is to insert the blade right below the double sided tape. The only thing left to do is to pull the broken camera glass with the double sided tape attached on it. And here also you do not have to pull with a lot of force since the double sided tape is softened by heat. You can see with this one I'm sure that I didn't leave any scratch on the camera rings and it is much cleaner than not using heat. Before proceeding, I covered all the camera rings in order to avoid having too much heat going into those and then I started hitting the broken camera glass in order to start the removal process. Since this one is very small, I lifted one piece of broken camera glass so that I can see the double sided tape. Then I inserted the blade right below the double sided tape and I started pulling the camera glass and the double sided tape together. Here also you can see how fast and easy it is to remove a broken camera glass after you heated it first before you started the removal process. Again gently tap on the back of the device to make everything fall out of the camera ring area. So before you do anything else you need to test all the cameras to make sure that they are working properly. This is a step that is overlooked and it is critical because you need to make sure that everything is working before you reinstall all the new camera lenses. On mine everything looks good. It is a little bit overexposed. This is normal because there is no camera lenses on it. Also very important, you need to blow some air on the camera modules to push anything or everything that is on top of the camera lenses before you do the installation of the actual camera lens that goes on the camera bezel. From my understanding, the first and second camera lenses are the same and the third one is a little bit different. Again, blow some air right before you do the installation of the camera lens. Using a tweezer, I removed the blue plastic protecting the double sided tape on the back of the camera lens and then I grabbed the camera lens with the tweezer. I will just align the camera lens with the camera ring 
on the back of the device and then drop the camera lens inside. If need be, you can adjust the position of the camera lens on the inside of the camera ring before you apply pressure so that it sits firmly on the camera bezel. The next camera lens is the same as the one that I just installed. You just need to remove the camera lens out of the blue plastic protecting the double sided tip. Just drop the camera lens inside the camera ring where it has to go and then after that make sure that everything is aligned and it is perfectly seated. Then apply pressure for the camera lens to stick on the camera bezel. The last one is the smallest camera lens. After you remove it just drop the camera lens inside the camera ring and then apply pressure for it to stick on the camera bezel. Now that everything has been installed, you can keep applying pressure for 1 to 2 minutes on all the camera lenses that you just replaced. After you've done all this, you need to test the cameras again to make sure that everything is working perfectly. You need to make sure that all the cameras are in focus, especially the ones that you replace the camera lenses and make sure that everything works. In place of a heat gun, you can use a common hair dryer. It can work also for camera lenses replacement. And as you saw it, you can do it also without heat, but it may leave some scratch on the camera rings. Also, this was included inside the kit. These are protection for the camera lenses. So thank you for watching. My job is done here and I will see you on my next video. Subscribe, like and share.